cute. Hi, you must be the other contestants. It's really nice to meet you all. How's it going? I'm Owen. Nice to meet you. Oh, wow. Guys, she could be seriously hurt. That felt so good. Two, three. Oops. Two. Oh. Wawanaqua, you're home for the next eight weeks. And maybe even your friend. I have to live with Sadie or I'll die. And I'll break out in hives. It's true. Courtney, Ezekiel. But Katie's a gopher! I have to be a gopher! Sadie, is it? Come on, it'll be okay. This is so unfair! I miss... You guys will officially be known as... <laughs> Ladies first. Oh, hate to see that happen. Excuse me, Chris. I have a medical condition. What condition? A condition that prevents me from jumping off cliffs. It's a calculated risk. I've seen the other team, and I don't think nine of them will jump. Hey, here is your chicken hat. So, let's tally up the results. Hold on. That's eight jumpers and two chickens. We're missing one. Yeah. Ow! I think I just got a splinter. Shut it and pick up your crate. Hey, I'm the only one with CIT camping experience here. You need me. Ow! I think something just bit me. All better? Yup. Can we go now? I think my eye is swelling up. Sheet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, help us! Finally. They're getting a drink. <laughs> Allergy. Shut it. We don't want them to know that. <laughs> Ew. What? Okay, look, guys. We have a hot tub to complete, and we need a project manager. Since I've actually been a CIT before, I'm electing myself. <gasps> Open the crates. Bridget, go find those itchy girls. We need all the help we can get. Things could be you right now. We have to figure out who we're gonna vote off. Well, I think it should be Princess or the Brick House here. What? Why? Because, unless I'm mistaken, you two are the only ones here wearing chicken hats. And if we ever have to lift a truck, I like our odds with the big guy. You guys need me. I'm the only. What about. Shut it! Okay, let's just chill out. This is getting way too heavy. I've had enough prison food for one day. I'm gonna go have a nap. You can't do that! We haven't decided who's going yet! Dude, you've got a lot to learn about the real world. That you enjoy roasting by the fire. And you can't come back. Okay, that girl, Eva, has got to get a handle on her temper. She's only been here one day, and she's already thrown her suitcase out a window and broken the lock on one of the bathroom doors. <sighs> Took you so long. That wasn't the challenge. Move, move, move! I 
figured that if I kept moving, I could outlast all of them. I just had to keep my eye on the ball. <sighs> Where is my MP3 player? No one is going anywhere until I get my MP3 player back. Okay, whoever took it better give it up now before she destroys the whole camp. Hey, guys. Wow. Someone stole Eva's MP3 player. Guess no one stole it after all. <laughs> You've all cast your votes and made your decision. Receive a marshmallow, must immediately return to the dock of shame, catch the boat of losers, and leave. And you can never come back, ever. This is the f Eva, the dock of shame awaits. Nice, really nice. Who needs this lame TV show anyway? See, I told you, you can't act like a total raging psychopath and then expect people to just forgive you, no matter how tough and strong and fast you are. She's never gonna have a career if she doesn't get her act together. Bye-bye, Eva! Huh. Touchy! To the killer bass! And to not ending up here again next week. <laughs> Stick it. Harold snored all night. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Someone mess with your face, dude. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Gwen. We are so stinking right now. Okay, yes, Eva was a psycho, but at least she was an athletic psycho. Way to kick out your strongest player. Okay, campers, listen up. Your next challenge begins in 10 minutes. Wake me up. This is all your fault, you know. You and your snoring face. It's called a medical condition. Gosh! Do not talk about dodgeball. <laughs> oh, ow! You're out. You can't do that! Throwing balls. Gee, another mentally challenging test. I know, right? Get me. You person out each game. All right, I'll volunteer. Oh, you're going down! We're gonna bring the dinner to the table, and then we're gonna eat it! Best of five games wins. Let's dodge some balls! Nice job. Now let's see if you can hit someone on their team. Whoa. Yes. What the heck was that? Ref, he's not even on the court. Uh. Easy out, guys. Easy out. We can do this! We just have to believe in ourselves! Oh, I believe. I believe you stink! <laughs> you should talk! It was a warm-up throw! Look, I can dominate this game! Fine! Just try to aim for the other side, okay? Oh. Finally! <laughs> hey! I to suck so much! Not very good. It's not over yet! It's so over. Okay, this is really bad. One more game and we lose the whole challenge. Again! We can't let that happen, people. We need someone strong, someone mean, someone who will crush those lame -o gophers into the dirt. Uh-uh. If we wake him up, he'll kill us. He won't kill us, guys. He wants to win, too. That's the spirit, Harold. Now go wake him up. Because, other than Trent, you're the worst at dodgeball. And if he does kill you, you're the only one we can afford to lose. Well, who's gonna wake him up? We have to go higher. Look, we are down to nothing. I can appreciate that you need a little nap time, but we need your help. Oh, and why should I help you, darling? 
because I can personally guarantee you that if we lose this game, you'll be the one going home, darling. <sighs> Fine, I'll play. On one condition. You do what I say when I say it. Okay, here's a strategy I picked up during my first visit to Juvie. It's called... Again. So, Harold, it's for the good of the team. Thank you. Where were you? Nowhere. You were with that blonde gopher girl, weren't you? So, she could have been getting you to spill all of our. Okay, this is it. The f no way. We actually have a chance to win this. To win this, you either have to throw him out, which we all know, or catch the ball. Can you do it? Harold! 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 <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Nice dodge, skater nerd. Are we gonna see a musical? Welcome to our brand new deluxe state of the art outdoor amphitheater. You'll be judged by our resident talent scout, former DJ, VJ, and rap legend, Grand Master Chef. Man, that is weak. Oh. Fine, sign him up. Next, me. I can stand on my hands for 20 minutes. Watch. I just don't think it's quite what we're looking for. Next! Well, I guess it's Jeff, DJ's ribbon thing, and your solo. You're already on TV, Jeff. You! You killed my violin! We can do. about the accident. I guess you're going to get your 15 seconds of fame after all, huh? Oh, nothing. No one would sabotage their own teammate, unless they maybe felt threatened. Cheer it for Bridget. Are you sure you can do this? Oh, I'm hit. That was so mean. Seriously. Find out. Now what? We have to send someone out there or we're going to lose this. Katie and Sadie are covered in barf. Carve a picture of his own skull into a tree? What are we going to do? Just go for it, Harold. Oh, that was Harold, that you was did amazing! It. And as for the screaming golfers, Camper, test your outdoor survival skills. Reproduction. First team back for breakfast wins invincibility. What's for dinner, woman? I'm starving. I hope you don't expect me to dignify that with a response. Hey, guys, look what I found. I've been stew before, but what the heck? I'm game. <sighs> this is my new pet. I'm calling him Bunny. You couldn't find any food? <sighs> Then it looks like we're eating grubs and berries for dinner. Be cool. It's just an owl. Sorry. I just get really freaked out in the forest. Of is pretty hardcore. Ooh, we're so scared. The girl started to freak out, and by this time, even the guy was getting a bit scared. So we turned the car on and he stepped up. <laughs> that was so not funny! Oh, yes, it was. I just wish it was all on camera. <laughs> Oh, wait, it is. You are so vile. Do your parents even like you? <gasps> What's wrong? Gotta go pee? Like crazy, but I'm too scared to leave the tent. Yeah, me too. 
great. That's just great, Bridget. Now we have nowhere to sleep. Yo, drama queen, relax. It's cool. Cool? It's cool? Things could not possibly get worse. Morning, sunshine. <gasps> oh my gosh! Ew! You were cuddling me! I was calmly lying on my back and trying to catch a few Zs. You were snuggling up to me. You are such an ogre. I've been called worse. Ugh! Okay, I just want to say for the record that I was totally asleep and therefore unconscious at the time of the alleged cuddling with said Neanderthal. So, essentially, it's like it never happened. <gasps> Oh, you mean Katie and Sadie? I'm pretty sure they got eaten by wolves last night. Darn shame. I'm so get out! And we had to run? <clears throat> Are you two finished your little love fest? Good. Because thanks to you, we just lost the challenge! <gasps> You've all cast your votes. Ever! Now. I can see you're all tired, so tonight, Duncan, Bridget, ladies, Sadie. No! Why Katie? Why her? It's so unfair. I so can't do this. I've never been anywhere without Katie. We have to be together or I'll totally die. Sadie. What do you want now? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I scared you. I was not scared. It was completely circumstantial. And there is no such thing as a hook man. <gasps> I hate you! She's so... <laughs> was a long goodbye. What do you guys want? Come by to rub it in? So what? You're just being nice? Oh, no! I mean, no thanks. I'm good. What? No, I just don't like green jelly, okay? What's my worst fear? I'm not really afraid of anything. Baloney! Oh, really? Well, what exactly is your phobia, Mr. Know-it-all? So if we had a cardboard standee right now... Shut it! What about you guys? Like a lot. All right, Court. Duncan, did you ever consider that maybe I was just humoring you in your lame-o story? Got it! Campers, your phobia factor. Prepare to face your worst fears. It's sumo time! Wait, how did they know those were your worst fears? What's my worst fear? Wait, they were listening to us? It's like eavesdropping. You could do this, buddy. It means she likes you. It's the smallest snake ever, DJ. Come on! We need this point, DJ. Suck it up! What? We're heading back to Loserville, people. Hey! See? Fear is only in the mind. Just talk to him, bro. She's pretty. She's nice. That, that looks really real, man. It's okay if you can't do it. All right, I'll try. You can do this. Ah! You're awesome! Ha! I did it! Okay? Oh, who cares? 
it's not going to make a difference. Let's make this interesting, then. I'll give you triple points if you can complete it. <laughs> You're afraid of jelly? Shut up! Only the green kind. It's like sugary, jiggly snot. <sighs> this is insane. I could seriously die doing this. You're not going to make me quit. She's just trying to psych you out. Oh. I can't do it. I'm coming down. Then there you have it. The Gophers win invincibility this week. Again. I'm so embarrassed. How could I be so weak? I deserve to go home. Okay, stop it. You're pathetic. Show some confidence, Courtney. Two marshmallows left on this plate. The three of you did not complete your challenges today. One of you is going home tonight and cannot return. Ever. Okay, that's enough. Bass, go for trip. You'll be paddling your canoes across the lake? Ooh, I should mention. Now! Yes! Be my partner? Paddle! Oh, bad! to go left definitely left the right trail is wider what are you looking at just when things were looking you've got to go on without me <gasps> we're not leaving any man behind not on my watch to be big enough. You heard the woman. We need more wood, guys. Guys? What are we gonna do without paddles? You guys could get someone to swim behind the boats and push them, but it was really insane. That might work. We need someone big enough to push all the canoes back. DJ? You can't ask him to do that. The dude can't swim. She's right. Those skinny arms aren't going to cut it. You can't swim with that kind of injury. You're horribly disfigured! Have any glue? <laughs> I wouldn't waste my time trying to fix that. What's... How long's Queenie gonna be in there? I got urgent business! Are you ready for today's... Are now deer. At least we get a head start. You smell worse than usual. It's Owen's stink. It's following me around like my juvenile record. Well, I'm heading back. This stupid game must be almost over by now. You're going the wrong way. Excuse me? I was a CIT, remember? I have a natural sense of direction. Camp is this way. Very funny. Now let me go! Hey, princess, this isn't my idea of fun either. Great, Duncan. Now what? You want to make out? Oh, this is too much. The girl can't keep her antlers off me. <laughs> well, since three members... Today, and serving it to me for tasting. The winners get a reward, the losers will send somebody home. Okay, so everybody partner up. I know how to make pasta sauce. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> I guess that leaves you and me on dessert detail. 
Oh, no. No way. Come on, Courtney. For the team. He's totally unmotivated, and he never washes his hands. He's so obnoxious. <laughs> Owning sunglasses doesn't automatically make you cool. <laughs> People like that are so annoying. I mean, honestly, who does that? And don't even get me started on his hair. Well, your big paws don't match the pastry. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Oh! Are you going to be a team player or not? Ooh, I'm a, a slob. They all have to have the same amount of custard. Oh, relax. They're fine. You know, you'd be a lot more fun without that pole up your butt. I'm like the most easygoing person I know. <gasps> <laughs> Duncan and me? Right, as if. I'm so sure. Not in a million years. Please. When pigs fly... Yo, you still busy protesting in there or can someone else have a turn? Like I was saying, not gonna happen. Six. Good morning, morning Harold. Harold! So, learned your lesson yet? Sir, no sir. Need a little echinacea? Too late. I saw that. How can you just steal a mug? Cause it's cool looking and I don't have one. <laughs> Didn't have one, that is. But you might get kicked off. Aww. And here I thought you didn't care about me. We're one player short and I don't want to lose because you feel like going all criminal on us. Ugh! Why do I even bother? So, floating in the bass pond, too. <gasps> so, centered around building trust. Because two or more members of your team. Okay, so for the first challenge, you'll be doing holding her up exactly. Harness their partner up. It's Never tried this before. Have you? Good news! The third round involves three more challenges. The Tell, followed by the blind trapeze, and culminating in the treacherous blind toboggan. So, where's Bunny? I miss him. Uh, Bunny? Uh, I'll go get him. Like legendary marksman William Tell, you'll be knocking arrows off your partner's head. Um, wasn't it the other way around? Be blindfolded. <gasps> Courtney and Sadie, you'll be the other. I'm violently allergic to apples. Ooh, let me shoot. I'm a good shot. <sighs> You'd better be. Oh. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Stein, it's a wall! <sighs> You're going down. Oh. What? Where am I? Been doing with a rabbit. Habit. I can't believe you found a new bunny for DJ. You're a good guy. What? No, I'm not. You are. You're actually nice. Uh, <laughs> I saw you do it, Duncan. Whatever. He wouldn't leave me alone, weird rabbit. Okay, fine. I did it. Are you happy now? Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> and the bass are the winners of the toboggan race. <laughs> Just get on with it. Ever. Well done, my brothers. Sadie and Harold. When I say someone's going down, they go down. Oh, come on already. <sighs> you know what? That's fine with me, you marshmallow eating freaks. <laughs> The rest of you are safe. Harold, you are so totally gross. No, wait. Calm oh, down. Today's challenge will not be an easy one. In fact, I do not expect everyone to come out alive. That hurt. All of the babies in front of me drop out of my boot camp except one. The yes, Master, Master Chief. Chief. When I tell you to sleep, when you are ready to give up, you will walk to the end of the dark. Listen up. 
Each team must hold a canoe over their head. And no one eats lunch until someone drops out. <laughs> One wants to quit now. Time to land that fish. Ow! Oh, idiots! Is there a problem down here? No. Twenty-five of us went in the jungle that night. You've got ten minutes to eat before. Uh, me neither. Don't care for today's specials, princess. I am going to be running for office one day. And no one is going to pull up a file of me eating garbage! Er, I hope you're proud of yourselves. <laughs> okay, look. I know you like me. He knows you like me. Everyone knows it. You. And to think I actually thought you were nice! Never mind. I was wrong. He's just as gross and annoying as he wants you to believe. Enjoy your garbage! <laughs> For your next challenge, you will complete a 300-word essay about how much you love me. No thanks! He's going straight to bed, aren't you? What are you trying to do? Get eliminated? I didn't know you cared. I don't! I just don't want to lose this challenge. So stop being such a mess up and do what you're told for once, okay? If you lose this for us, I'm gonna make you so miserable. Go, maggots, go! Big deal. How scary can it be? I'm going to check on him. I do not like him. Yes, you do. No, I can't stand him. He's rude, he's rebellious, and he's totally annoying. I'm going to go check. Hello? Duncan? I wish you'd stop calling me that. So, come to claim that kiss? Even pigs deserve a meal. Mm, no thanks, I'll stick with the bait. Well, that's all Chef would serve us after our pathetic performance on the obstacle course. Why do you egg Chef on like that? You know you're going to get in trouble. Why are you so uptight all the time? I am not uptight. <laughs> you always follow the rules. Well, you always have to break them. Okay, so maybe I do follow the rules. I guess that makes me a big, uptight loser in your books, right? Maybe. Ugh! Because not following the you thrown into a fish cabin! But I'm in the fish cabin with you, aren't I? Feel him? <laughs> Are you kidding? All I've had for two days is this gruel. The chef will never give it to us. See, now that's the problem with your thinking. The trick is is to not ask for it. Do you have some on you? Are you in? Let's do it! Well, all right then. Slowly crawl. 25 of us went off, came back out. If we get caught, we are so dead. I mean... Are you sure you want to go through with this? Yes. This is the most fun I've had here yet. <laughs> A little present, courtesy of the killer bass. Now you're learning. <laughs> okay, I think you've had enough. <laughs> oh no, no, just, just one more. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that one was a mistake. What? So the princess has a dark side. Okay, that was so gross. But it was like, once I did something bad, it was so much fun, I just wanted more. Well, you could always give me that kiss. That'd be pretty bad. You're still not my type. Fine. Enjoy a peanut butter less life. Thanks. Enjoy prison. I will. What you are experiencing is an ancient form of torture. Duncan! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I can't help it! <laughs> what? <laughs> you so 
Hold it. <clears throat> Master Chief, <laughs> I just have one thing to say to you. And what might that be? You really need to take a chill pill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, Jeffy, it's all up to you. You got this, Gwen? Ooh, that's going to leave a mark. I only have five marshmallows on my plate. Yeah! DJ? Yeah! Jeff? Yeah! Yes! <gasps> what? You guys voted for Harold over me? It's always a shock. This is impossible! I demand a recount! Oh, seriously, dude, I know for a fact there were three of us. I do not concede! I do not concede! I was your only hope! I... Let go of me! You are going to hear from my attorney! Duncan! Okay, this is really weird and creepy, but... How nice this place is, I'm not supposed to be here. After I was kicked off, I found out exactly what went on the night I was eliminated. It was all Harold's fault. I should be in the final five right now. When I find that little twerp, I'm going to grab hold of him and wring his skinny, awkward little neck. You hear me, Harold? I know you're hiding around here somewhere. He has to come out sometime, and when he does, to get it! I'm in the middle of filing a lawsuit for wrongful termination of competition. These people are witnesses! I was unfairly kicked off! Don't care. For a break already, eh? I got kicked off on the first. You just would have been kicked off in another episode. No one liked you that much. <gasps> that is so not true. Everyone likes me. I used to be a CIT. Ow! This is a coconut. We're in Muskoka, people. If you're going to draw props on my head, at least make them geographically correct. Are you Tyler? Heather is a formidable competitor, but I can't say I approve of her tactics. I mean, so uncalled for. There you are, you little traitor! Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh. Who would I like to win? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I'd have to pick Duncan. Don't tell the others, though, okay? Oh. We already know. You were all over him. And we eased her off again. Ah! More trees! She's smart, but she's not exactly a team player. I was a team player. It should be me. You're here. I can't say anything bad about her. And I excel at saying bad things about people. Dude, you got cooked today. Who, me? You have to be in the final five to get a vote, remember? Shauna, definitely. But you'd vote for Duncan, right? Why would I do that? Because if you don't, I'm going to post all of your little love letters to Lashana on the internet. Fine, whatever. I'll vote for Duncan. Not. I think Gwen should win. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, losers. It is time for the most unexpected twist of all time. Tonight, you will be voting the next camper off. Total Drama Island. No way! Oh, yes. <gasps> Why are you voting her off? If you like 
Lashana? Leave her in! <gasps> what? No! You're just voting off my girlfriend to spite me. Uh, let go of me, you big geek! Hey! Uh, <laughs> Redneck goody goody. His final competition. All right, it's time for the final challenge. Off that pole. Yeah, go, Owen! We want a party! Yeah! Yeah! On your marks, get set, go! Angry eagle parents? Oh, snap, that is messed up. What, you mean you like watching this? They could die. Oh, mellow your yellow, babe. This is awesome TV. Duncan is so immature. What is it about almost dying and bodily functions that guys love? Why would I want to watch Gwen and Owen risk their lives? This is life at its most raw. Check out Elvis here with his guitar. Now that would make for an interesting song. Then again, danger is kinda hot. <laughs> You're still not my type. You make me sick. <laughs> You know what it's time for?